Welcome back, everybody. It's a beautiful evening here across South Mississippi. We're going to start off things this evening up in Ellisville. The Alpha Insurance Camera Network Jones College. They're sitting at 85 degrees this evening there uh, as we overlook the campus. Beautiful night there as we sit into the golden hour and the sun. Not uh, not too long before it sets there on the horizon at Walt Massey Ford in Columbia. They're at 88 degrees. Traffic moving pretty smoothly there on uh, Highway 98 on the east side of Columbia. Temperatures around the area this evening into the 80s. Currently 88 in Foxworth, 83 in a Grove. It's 86 down towards Purvis. It's not showing up there, but believe me, it is 86 degrees there. 87 in Brooklyn, 85 in uh, Seminary, and it is 86 in Richston. So temperatures are going to be cooling down. No problems. We're going to cool down into the low 70s by 9 to 10 o'clock tonight. Skies are going to be mostly clear. No problems for that uh, for the Passover of the International Space Station. That'll be uh, happening tonight uh, at 807 Central Time. So you'll need to go outside at 807. Look off towards the northwest because this is where it's going to be heading from northwest to southeast. And again, it'll be visible for four minutes. So it'll be a great experience for you and the kids. You don't need uh, any viewing devices. Just use your eyeballs and it'll be fun for you and the kids to see that. It'll look like a slow moving star. Now in the morning when you wake up, cool conditions, maybe not as cool as this morning when we dip down into the 50s, but it's still going to be nice. 62 in Hattiesburg. Uh, skies are going to start off mostly sunny, but watch into the afternoon. That's where we're going to start to see a few clouds uh, reappearing. We'll still make it up into the 90s tomorrow. Still going to be a warm day, but the clouds start to move in late in the day tomorrow, and then we're going to be very cloudy as we go towards Thursday and Friday. That's when that cold front's going to come through, and you can really tell the difference in our temperatures. We're going to go from 90 Thursday to a high of 76 as we go towards Saturday, and I will tell you, it's going to be beautiful this weekend, but we need some rain. We desperately, desperately need some rain, and this front is going to kind of dry up as it moves here. Here's what it looks like Thursday, scattered showers, but look at the moisture. It just kind of peters out as it comes into the area Friday morning, Friday afternoon. There's not a lot of hope there. In fact, rainfall totals are going to be very, very low. And Futurecast is showing areas up to a half an inch. I think that's being, uh, I think that's a little high in my term, in my opinion. But I think we'll get a few showers, but it's definitely not going to really help us out in any stretch of the imagination. But it will feel amazing as we go towards the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, temperatures into the 70s. 76 Saturday, 74 Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, Sunday morning, we're going to start off your day right around 50, upper 40s in the northern half of the viewing area. And then Monday morning, this is when most of us will get down into the 40s for the first time this season. So a big cool down on the horizon and for us. It's definitely going to feel nice as we go into next week. The cool air will stick around through about Monday and then we'll slowly warm up as we go into the middle part of next week.